day everyone and welcome my name is Susan and uh, I'm going to do a nice little chair yoga class today so just a nice gentle stretching all right so this is the kind of stretching um, for anybody if you're traveling I don't know if you're traveling now um, sitting for any length of time uh, working at a desk or even if you're in a wheelchair or you don't have a lot of mobility this is a wonderful gentle stretch for you all right so sitting comfortably in your chair, try to find a nice sturdy chair to sit on, um, preferably with a bit of a back as well, all right? Now, nice and comfortable in your chair, relax, let your legs just kind of relax, ankles and knees are nice and lined up. So I want you to lean back in your chair, just lean back and relax. And we always start our class with a couple of minutes of uh, pranayama. Prana is breath and pranayama is breath control. The breathing is in through the nose and out through the nose. Nice, long, smooth breath. All right, so just relax. It's time to relax, slow things down and just learning how to release tension and working on releasing the stress level as well. Now we do different mudras every week. And so the mudras are just different positions with our hands and our fingers. And it's just a spiritual gesture. It's an energy seal that seals the flow of the prana into your body so it's not lost. That's all it means. So today we're going to sit in Shin Mudra. So I'd like you to take your index finger, the first little joint, roll it into the joint of your thumb. Three fingers together, palm up, just like that. Sit back, relax the shoulders. So this is a gesture of consciousness this mudra helps to add, cultivate consciousness. You can experience a sense of calm, increased stability and security. And if you're not interested in doing a mudra, just put your hands on your lap, it doesn't matter. All right, whatever feels good for you. So relax the shoulders. Like I said, lean back in your chair. You can bow your head or keep your head nice and straight. Close your eyes and let's take a big breath together, inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the nose. Now is the time to drop your day, settle your mind, and to set an intention for your practice today. Focus on any situation in your life that needs guidance from your higher self. It's time to lower the heart rate, lower our blood pressure, and lower our anxiety level. Try to find stillness in mind and body. One more breath. And on your next exhale, let's bring our hands together. Now at this point, I'd like you to sit nice and tall in your chair. So see if you can straighten your spine a little bit. All right, so let's rub our hands to activate our hand chakra. Hands onto your heart center, close your eyes. Let's take a nice long smooth breath together to tune out, inhale. Focus on the sensations of that nice long smooth breath for one more. And on the next exhale, I'd like you to drop three fingers Keep the index fingers together, preparing for Jupiter Mudra. Take a big breath. And on the next exhale, come up all the way. Now, if you can, reaching up nice and high. If you find this is really hard on your shoulders, you can bring your arms down. Put them anywhere that feels comfortable for you. Now, your back is nice and straight, sitting nice and tall in those sit bones. Let's wake up that physical body. Let's wake up that spine. Breathing into Jupiter Mudra which is good luck and expansion are activated when together focus your energies on breaking through barriers. For one more breath. On the next exhale, hands together, slowly bring them down. Very gentle, right on your lap, all right? Roll the shoulders out. So I just want you to remember, you know, focusing on the sensations of the breath. Every breath you take is long and smooth the whole time we're together. I will gently remind you all the time to listen to your body, respect your limitations. If it doesn't feel good, you don't have to do it. You can always back up a little bit, make little adjustments, okay? So we're gonna do a nice little gentle neck stretch. So I'll give you a couple of different ways to do this. Now I'm always making sure that you're sitting nice and tall. So we're just gonna work on our posture as well while we're here. 
So if you can, hands right here, right on your, on your shoulders. If this is not going to feel good for you, you can keep your hands on your lap if you'd like. All right, sitting nice and tall, we're going to work on our neck. So take your breath, and on the exhale, all I want you to do is just to tilt your head back. And like I said, if you don't want to have your hands on your shoulders, you can just keep your hands on your lap and do exactly the same thing. This is all about releasing the muscles around the neck, going into the upper back as well and a little bit into the shoulder. And if you have issues with your neck, take it easy, do what you can. One more breath. On the exhale, now I want you to bow your head. Keep your back straight, just bow your head. And let's release the muscles along the back of the neck. Keep breathing. One more breath, exhale, come back up slowly. Take your breath. On the exhale, I just want you to turn your head to the left. So having your hands and your arms in this position is just a nice stretch. It's a gentle stretch for the forearm, the triceps, biceps, just very gentle. On the exhale, come back to center. Let's go to the left, take your breath. On the exhale, just look to the left. You don't have to torque your neck, just go gently. Relax the shoulders, one more breath. On the exhale, come back to center. Bring the arms down, gentle, and roll the shoulders out. I want you to roll them out just gently, forward and backwards, let's start loosening things up. And as you're doing this, keep that breath going. Remember, every breath you take the whole time we're together. I will try and cue you on the breathing. So when you say your next exhale or on the next exhale, because you always move on the exhale, all right? So from here, let's do a nice um, little a shoulder shrug. I'm gonna do it in three parts today. So I want you to visualize your shoulder blades, okay? So we're gonna work on the top, the middle, and the bottom. When you put the shoulder blades together, the whole blade actually goes together, but we're just gonna try and emphasize those three parts a little bit more. So with sitting nice and tall in your chair, so at this point as well, I want you to make sure that your ankles and knees are lined up, feet are nice and comfortable, so just relax your legs. We're working on the upper body right now, okay? So from here, keep your hands on your lap, take your breath, and on the exhale, bring the shoulders up. I want you to roll them back, slide them down, shoulder blades together. Focusing on the top of the shoulder blade, you don't have to ram them together, just bring them together as close or as comfortable as you can get. Breathe. And this is all about releasing the front of the deltoid, the front of the shoulder, the chest, opening up the pectorals, opening up the rib cage, opening up our heart center. One more breath. And on the exhale, bring the shoulders up, forward and down. All right, perfect. Let's do that again. Let's focus on the middle of the shoulder blade. Take your breath. Exhale up, bring them back, slide them down. Now bring the shoulder blades together as close as you can, as comfortable. Like I said, you don't have to ram them together. Do what you can. And on the next exhale, we're going to be releasing. So on the exhale, bring them up, forward, and down. All right. So let's work on the lower part of the shoulder blades. So when, I'm going to do a quick little demo. When you bring the shoulders up and down, I want you to release the hands, bring the elbows back and that'll help you focus on the lower part of the shoulder blade. Hands on the lap, sitting tall, take your breath. Exhale, bring them up, bring them back, release the hands, bring the elbows back, and slide them down, shoulder blades together. Breathe. Full, complete. Inhale and exhale. On the exhale, shoulders up, forward and down. Hands on the lap. Gentle. Now relax the shoulders and just roll them out. If you can, do a little bit bigger movements, forward and back. Just loosen everything up. Perfect. All right. From here, I want you to bring your arms up, shoulder height. Lace the fingers together, palms up. All right. If this bothers your shoulders, you can bring this with your arms down a little bit if you'd like. All right. On the exhale, I want you to reach. And this is going to release the upper back, the shoulders again. Just reach, keep the shoulders nice and relaxed. Keep that breath flowing. One more. On the exhale, I want you to bring the arms down to the side of your body. And I want you to gently hold on to the chair. So from here, we're going to do our seated fish pose. 
So the one we just did was for the upper back. Now we're going to go again with the chest, releasing the pectorals, opening everything up. Seated fish pose, take your breath. On the exhale, bring the shoulders up, bring them back, slide it down. Now, from here, I'd like you to bring that chest out a little bit more. Bring the shoulder blades together, but focusing on bringing the chest out. One more breath. And on the exhale, bring the shoulders up, forward and down, release the hands. Hands on the lap again, roll them out, roll the shoulders up. Whenever we do anything that releases the chest, and that's really going to help you with your posture. A lot of people have very poor posture, and they're always kind of hunched over, and they're bowing their head. A lot of times, not every time, but a lot of times your chest is really tight. So when you can stand straight and you can release that chest, opening up, release the pectorals, that's really going to help you a lot with your posture. All right? So that's one of the reasons why it's very important to always be aware of your posture. All right? Perfect. Roll the shoulders out. So let's work on our twist pose. Speaking of posture, let's work on that spine a little bit more. So what I want you to do here is just keep your legs the way they are. I want you to put the right hand on the left knee. In the left hand, I want you to hold on. Hopefully you've got a little place you can hang on to this back of your chair. All right, so this is gonna work the spine, a gentle spinal twist to take your breath. And on the exhale, I want you gently to look over the left shoulder. And you can press on the knee a little bit if you'd like. Keep your back straight, shoulders are relaxed. You don't have to go far. If you're a little more flexible, you can go a little deeper. You can press on the knee, but be very gentle with your spine. You don't have to torque it or torque your neck. The breath is the same. Keep the breath going. Gentle spinal twist, one more breath. On the exhale, slowly release, counter pose to the other side. Left hand on right knee, right hand hold on to your little handle. Breath to center always. And on the exhale, look over the right shoulder now. If you find anything we do really doesn't feel good or if it's going to aggravate any condition you might have, you know, you don't have to do it. Or even if you try it and just do it a little bit, see how it feels. See how your breath reacts. Because everything revolves around the breath. If you find that your breath is labored or it's a little too quick or you're kind of not sure about the breathing, then you really have to think about what you're doing. Make those little adjustments so that your breath can slow down. So in this position here, we're gonna really work on releasing the spine, keeping it nice and strong and balanced, flexible and supple and agile, releasing nerves, blood vessels and muscles up and down your spine. On the exhale, come back to center very gently Hands on the lap, roll the shoulders out. Perfect, all right. So from here, I'd like you just to bring out just the left hand. Bring it down a little bit lower, focusing on the forearm, the wrist, and the hand, not so much the shoulder. Fingers are open, bend at the wrist, slightly turn out to the baby finger. Relax the shoulders, close your eyes if you'd like, just breathe. Now, Speaking of the breath, when you inhale, always try and suspend your breath just for a couple of seconds before you exhale. That's part of the breath control of the pranayama. On the next exhale, straighten the hands, palms to ceiling, and I want you to gently press the fingers back. Now always remember to move your body slowly, carefully, and gently. Releasing the hand, the palm of the hand, the flexor muscles, the wrist. On the exhale, release hands on the lap. Let's do this side here. Down and out. Stretching, lengthening, decompressing the extensor muscles along the top, the wrist and the hand. Every move we make, every stretch we do, they're called eccentric muscle contractions. You're actively lengthening and stretching, decompressing, releasing the tight muscles, the nerves, the blood vessels, working on joint stability as well. On the exhale, straighten the hand, bring it back. For one more breath. On the exhale, release the hand. Let's work those fingers. So sitting nice and tall, roll the shoulders out if you have to, being aware of your posture again. So from here, all I want you to do here is we're just, I just want you to kind of curl your fingers in very slowly into a loose fist and then very, very slowly release them. All right, we're gonna do that twice. Just do what you can. I know a lot of people have a really hard time with their fingers, but it's so important to keep them moving. All right, let's go. Follow the breath, just very slowly curl them in to a very loose fist. And then we're 
work your way back up. Follow the rhythm of the breath. Open them up. And again, slow, gentle. Just curl them in into a very loose fist. And now from here, I'd like you to make a tighter fist if you can. As tight as you can, wrap your thumb around. And then slowly uncoil them, release them. And then from here, I want you to stretch them out. Lengthen those fingers, release the palm of the hand, lengthen them, make them nice and long. And then relax, relax, let your hands go limp. And then shake them out, shake them out, release the tension in the hands and the fingers. Perfect. All right, that's it for that one. And I want you to roll, you can play piano, roll them around a little faster if you'd like. And here, let's do some wrists as well, just roll them around. Keep the breath slow, even if you're moving your hands a little faster. All right, hands on the lap, roll the shoulders out. So from here, let's take a little break. We're going to get into our mountain, Tatizana. So from this position here, make sure you're nice and comfortable on your sit bones. Your back is straight. Just let your arms hang down to the side. All right, this is our mountain. So just let gravity pull those arms down. Let's stay here for three breaths. This is our mountain, Tatizana. This is a neutral resting place. Anytime during the class, if you find you want to skip something or you just, you know, want to chill out for a few minutes, come here and just hang out, but keep your breath going. Whatever you decide to do or not do, that breath is gonna be the same. So it's focusing on the breath. Really take a nice, long, smooth breath. Do your best. One more. From here, hands on the lap, roll the shoulders out. All right. Let's work our spine a little bit more. So let's do some nice cat and cow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna turn my chair a little bit so you can have a little bit of a better idea of what I'm gonna show you here. So again, you're sitting nice and tall in your chair. Everything is nice and lined up, you're relaxed. We're gonna hold on to the side of the chair a little bit here. I'll do a quick little demo. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna inhale, I'm gonna look up, and I'm gonna have a little bit of a C-scoop spine, bring the chest out, and then when you exhale, you're gonna arch the back, bow your head and round the shoulders. All right, it's not very often I want you to round your shoulders and arch your back. This is one of the times, all right? So this is going to work on flexibility, lengthening the spine, working on the upper back muscles. And this is a really nice stretch for your lower back, all right? So hold on to the chair just very lightly if you'd like, all right? Straight spine, let's go together. Inhale up. And on the exhale, arch the back, round the shoulders, bow your head. And again, follow the rhythm of the breath. Come all the way up, inhale up into your cow. And into the cow, it stretches your chest and stretches your abdominals. And when you get into your little cat, it lengthens your spine, like I said earlier, upper back and your lower back, lengthening, stretching. Let's do two more, all the way up. Cat and cow, breath in motion, meditation in motion. And let's see if we can do one more. Let's slip one more in here. Just relax. And then bring yourself up. So just want you to try and relax. I know it's hard to do, but this is part of our yoga practice is being able to let things go, to focus on exactly how you feel right now. Pay attention to where you are and what you're doing keeping your mind clear of anything, everything and anything. You have any thoughts that come into your mind at this point or any time during the class, acknowledge the thought and just let it go. Let it fly out that window. Come back to what you're doing. Pay attention to your breath and how you feel and how you're moving. Those thoughts are gonna persist and they probably will. Acknowledge it, let it go. Pretty soon, you know what? You're gonna be so busy that those thoughts are just gonna stay where they need to be for a little while anyway. So let's work our way down, all right? So let's work some ankles and some feet. So sitting nice and tall in your chair. So if you can, I'd like you just to get your feet off the floor. You don't have to get them up too high, just get them off the floor. Let's work those ankles and the lower legs and the feet and the toes. So what we're gonna do here now is a supination and a pronation. So the supination, I'm gonna show you quickly before we do it. So you're just gonna roll the ankles in. You're gonna to touch your toes and then you're gonna roll them out. That's it. Now when we're doing this here, try to focus on the ankle, not the leg. So you're not wiggling your leg around. It's just the ankle. 
Now you can hold on to the chair. If you need to hold on to your legs, you can, all right? So just do what you can, all right? Supination in, pronation out. Legs, feet come off the floor. Hold on to your legs if you'd like. Let's go, inhale, you can touch your big toes together. And on the exhale, and you can feel the lower leg muscles engaging. Even though we're focusing on the ankles, the ankle, the foot, the toes. Let's do one more set in and out. And then straighten your foot and just let it go. Let it land wherever it needs to. Let your knees fall open and relax. Put your hands on your lap. Let's stay here. Just take a breath. Relax your ankles. Visualize everything is going. All that stress tension is just releasing. It's going out your feet. It's just coming out your feet. All right. Now let's do one more. Now again, hands on the lap or hold on to the chair. Get your feet a little bit off the floor. And all, all I want you to do now is just play piano with your toes. I really want you to try to articulate, really wriggle those toes around. And then while you're doing that, do some little circles with your ankles in and out. If you want to move a little bit faster, you can, but keep your breath slow. Just really get some movement. If you want, add the fingers and the, and the uh, wrists. Play piano. Let's go with everything. Just loosen things up. Perfect. All right. And let your feet land. Now I want you to back them up. Now this way, your ankle and knees are nice and lined up. Roll the shoulders out. All right, so let's work some legs, okay? So this particular one is a leg lift with a knee bend. So this one here is going to, a nice little stretch for the knee. It's gonna work the quads, the uh, hamstrings, it's gonna work the uh, inner thighs, pelvic floor area, and even into your buttock, all right? And some uh, abdominals as well, because you need a strong core to lift those legs. Our legs are very heavy. Let me show you this one here. Now here again, I'm sitting comfortable in my chair. My back is nice and straight. I'm going to start with the right leg. Let me do a quick demo. I'm going to lift it up, and then I'm going to bend it, and up. That's it. All right. Now, the higher you lift your leg, the deeper the stretch, the more you're going to feel it. But do what you can wherever you need to be. Even if you get your leg here, and that's all you can do, don't worry about it. All right? Keep the breath going. It's all about letting the breath guide you. So let's start with the right leg. Like I said, if you need to hold on to the chair, absolutely. If you want to have one on your knee, it doesn't, on your other leg, it doesn't matter. So let's start with the right leg. With a straight spine, relax the shoulders. Let's go. Inhale up. Stay here. Take another breath. On the exhale, bend. Stay here now. One more breath. And again, out. A little fire into those thighs. And if you find this is uncomfortable, bring your foot onto the floor at any time. Don't worry about it. Again, bend. Stay here. Breathe. And this is actually working some hip as well. Exhale down. Put it down. And relax the leg. So this one here is very gentle, but it's very effective. You can do a few more if you'd like. If you want to repeat this class, you can add a few more. Or even if you get to the point you can only do one, don't worry about it. Okay? All right? Let's go to the left now. Sitting tall, let's go. Inhale up. Stay here. On the next exhale, we're going to bend the knee. Now my leg is actually right off of my chair at this point. I can lift my leg a little higher if your leg is still on the chair, as long as your foot is off the floor. So you can make those little adjustments. And let's go back out. Just depends on how you feel, the strength of your legs, the strength of your abdominal muscles, even going into your back muscles as well. One more breath. Exhale, bend and rest. All right, back to mountain. Let your arms hang down. Try to relax your legs. All right. And let's do one more. So I want you to open up your legs. Now you might have to scooch up in your chair a little bit here. All right, so always make sure that your sit bones are nice and anchored. Open up the legs as wide as you can. Now your feet can be in a little bit into a, an angle, into a V. Or if you want, if you need your feet to be straight, you can make that little adjustment. Now, having your legs open a little bit wider is a nice gentle hip opener. All right, releasing the tight hips, the inner thighs, the pelvic floor, again, uh, groin area, the tight buttocks. And we're going to do a nice little side bend from here. So I just want you to have your arms to the side. Let me show you. I'm going to bring my arm up, 
The left arm's just gonna hang, I'm gonna come up, and I'm gonna reach, either that, or if you can, you can reach over. If this is gonna bother your shoulder, you can do the same thing with your hand on your hip, you're gonna get the same stretch, all right? Now, the left arm, just let it hang, right arm. Now, back is straight, let's go, inhale up. Now, try to line things up, arm is lined up to the shoulder, to the side of the body, and just reach. Spread your fingers like rays of sunshine. If you're a little more flexible, you can reach over a little more. Try not to be tilted forward or leaning back. And let's get a nice long stretch down the right side of the body, all the way to the hip. One more breath. Exhale up. Let's go right to the other side. Like I said, put your hand on your hip if that feels better. And don't go too far. All right, let's go. Inhale up. So even if you just get to here, don't worry about it. Tilt, lean, really feel that lovely stretch on the left side of the body. If you can, you can go a little further. If you have to back up, you can make those adjustments. One more breath. Exhale, using your core muscles to help you move your body. And from here, let's get into our child's pose, balasana. Now, from here, I'll show you two ways. If you can, you can come all the way down. If this is really going to make you dizzy, if it's not a good place to be, I just want you to rest your arms here and just relax and look at the floor. All right, whatever feels good for you. Uh, Child's Pose Balasana is a resting neutral place and a wonderful stretch. Take your breath. And exhale. And if you're hanging down, just like gravity, pull the arms down. And this is a really nice little stretch for your spine and just Releasing the arms, the shoulders, it's such a nice stretch. But even if you're sitting like this with your arms on your, on your thighs, just let it all go. And now's the time to thank yourself for being here right now in this moment, taking this little time out of your busy day and your busy life just to relax and slow things down and turn everything off for a while. And just to connect with your mind, your body, and your soul, and your breath. Finding that little place of sanctuary, of tranquility. One more breath. On the next exhale, bring yourself up very slowly, reverse the blood flow so you don't get dizzy. Come up. Let's get those legs together. Let's prepare for our closing savasana, meditation, relaxation, reflection time, however you choose to bring this into your practice. Now I want you to sit back in your chair. Now I want you to lean back. Now's the time where you can rest. So I want you to find a position in your chair where you can literally melt into your chair. So if you want to let your knees fall open, if you want to kind of, you can slouch your shoulders, you can bow your head, you can let your arms go wherever you need to be. Just melt into your chair completely relaxed. Close your eyes. Preparing for our savasana, meditation, relaxation, reflection time. However you choose to bring this into your practice today. Resting comfortably in your corpse pose. Actually, if we were laying down, it would be called our corpse pose, so not so much if you're sitting down. But it's a resting time. Just slow everything down, feeling heavy and quiet. So learning how to relax, just enjoy yourself. Always keep an open mind. Do what you can. Listen to your body. Smile. It's a wonderful place to be. Let your mind, your body, and your soul absorb the vibrations of the bells. Bring in your own energy to its appropriate frequency. Slowly bring yourself back into your space, back into the room. Wiggle your fingers and toes to bring life back to your body. And when you're ready, very slowly bring yourself to a nice straight seated position. So being aware of your posture, straighten that spine, relax the shoulders, sitting nice and tall and proud on your sit bones. Let's bring our hands together. Let's rub them vigorously to activate our hand chakra. Hands on to the heart center, close your eyes. Let's take a nice long, smooth breath together to tune in, inhale. Oh. 
Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Sad now. Shanti, Shanti. Peace, peace, may love and light be with you always. Namaste. All done. Thank you very much for joining me. And I hope you're enjoying these little series of classes. Um, with the chair yoga, if you've been following uh, me, I offered uh, two different versions of uh, uh, Hatha yoga. One more stretching, one with a little bit more moving. Whatever I can fit in in 30 minutes, put it that way. And also a lovely Pilates class which is what I'm going to be doing next. So if you're interested in trying Pilates, absolutely. Pilates is all about strength. Yoga is lengthening and stretching. Strengthening also. All right, so thanks again. Have a lovely day. And uh, let's just enjoy this weather while we have it. All right, thanks again, and we'll see you soon.